hello friends now today we are going to talk about the another kind of the experiment that is uh, voltage controlled oscillator okay and this uh, oscillations are uh, created by using the ic566 okay is well known as a vco using the uh, 566 in the earlier experiments whatever we have talked uh, or in the uh, any kind of the oscillators so the rc time constant was used to generate a kind of the frequency right so that was a fixed uh, frequency oscillators uh, it gives us that is rc time constant if we vary the r then we can actually try to uh, vary the uh, frequency of the oscillation but that frequency of the oscillations remains the constant now in this experiment uh, what we are going to talk about the if suppose there are uh, certain uh, uh, kind of the application here we need to uh, change the frequency right uh, there are uh, applications such as the frequency modulations or as the tone generate Uh, and uh, even we can have the FSK that is the frequency shift key where the frequency needs to be uh, controlled okay and how it can be controlled that can be controlled by using uh, some kind of the potential applied across it or else the, we call it as a controlled voltage okay uh, that is a controlled voltage at the input say so that the output frequency can be uh, tuned or the can be uh, changed so the uh, typical example class product is the signetics and that is the IC5 uh 566 vco okay and uh, this provides the simultaneous uh, square wave and the triangular wave okay the square uh, square wave as well as the triangular wave output uh, uh, okay and uh, this uh, uh, is done by using this some kind of the square box okay this is ic uh, 566 now the frequency of the oscillation and can be determined by the rc time constant so the r whatever we have used is over here is uh, r1 and its uh, value is like r2 yes, this is r2 and it is a uh, 5 kilo ohm sorry 15 kilo ohm okay so now uh, rc time constant so now uh, this external uh, resistor that is uh, r1 and uh, what we can see uh, that is external resistance uh, is uh, here that is this is r1 that is 10k and uh, the capacitor c1 okay capacitor c1 either we can use the c1 capacitor or the uh, c2 and the voltage applied across this so the voltage applied across this is across this terminal uh, 5 with respect to the ground so the digital multimeter can be uh, connected uh, in between this part, terminal 5 and uh, ground now the triangular wave is generated uh, alternatively uh, by charging and uh, charging this uh, Uh, external capacitor c1 and uh, yeah, it can be discharged discharged uh, uh, through the same kind of the resistor that is uh, used uh, so uh, what we can have the ch- charging and discharging of the capacitor uh, will uh, generate the uh, triangular so this is the way of the charging and this is the discharging of the capacitor so this will generate the uh, kind of the uh, triangular uh, wave okay so now cha- charge discharge levels are uh, these uh, charging and discharging levels are determined by the uh, smith trigger action so corresponding to the smith trigger action you just uh, look uh, into the some uh, books or else on the internet about the what is the smith trigger action corresponding to it okay so uh, that uh, smith trigger uh, also uh, provides the uh, square wave output both output wave forms are uh, actually buffered so that uh, the output impedance uh, can be minimized or the at the each stage will remain uh, uh, around a fixed value to be the 50 ohm so the typical amplitude of this uh, triangular wave uh, around uh, it uh, lies between the something like a 2.5 volt or something around like that okay and uh, that of the square wave can be a little bit more that is uh, around 5.5 is almost double of the uh, triangular wave so let's uh, try to look into the schematic diagram or the uh, uh, what we can say uh, the electronic circuit diagram corresponding to the uh, smith trigger oh sorry uh, this vco so the here is a plus uh, 12 volt is used okay uh, as a power supply now we can have this connection so plus 5 volt plus 12 volt is also connected to the 8 number terminal then this r1 resistance and so on so forth. so this is a circuit diagram corresponding to i'll share this uh, diagram to you as well now and the control voltage is 
just applied in between this uh, terminal number 5 and the uh, ground. Now, here uh, is the dotted line is given that is uh, simultaneously we cannot uh, connect the both the uh, capacitor external capacitor the C 1 and C 2. So, that is why it is given as a dotted uh, line for the C 2 either we can use the C 1 or else uh, uh, C 2. We can uh, use both the capacitor as well, but the frequency of the uh, frequency generator uh, will get uh, changed. Okay. So, the series uh, sorry uh, parallel combination will result us into the C 1 plus C 2. So, obviously, the frequency generator of this triangular and square will get reduced, okay. but uh, this can be done, but uh, for that case we will use the either of the uh, capacitors. Uh, okay. So, uh, let us uh, talk about how the circuit board looks like. Here I have already made the connections. So, what are the things over here? Uh, let us see, okay. plus 5 volt is connected to the terminal over here and then uh, to this voltage as well. Okay. So, the uh, to the one end of the R p. Now, R p is a variable one, okay. it can be varied by using this knob and uh, this is terminal 5, okay. it has to be connected and terminal 5 again connected uh, to the capacitor uh, C 3. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, and uh, control voltage uh, is measured with respect to the pin number 5 and the ground uh, by using this digital multimeter. Uh, it uh, knob is uh, used at the okay, DC, DC power, uh, DC stage, AC uh, voltage, and the DC voltage. So, we have to uh, move the knob on the uh, DC. Okay. Now, here I have made the uh, pin so that I can use the uh, cap either of the capacitor. So it is uh, okay. It's a variable one. I can use uh, either of the capacitor so that it make uh, it. It is very convenient for me to do it. So, okay. And then uh, outputs are given on the CRO. Okay. So one of the triangular wave is given to the channel number one and the square wave is given to the uh, uh, channel number 2. So, it is not necessary that uh, you should have the channel number 1 have the square triangular and the square on the you can use the either of the uh, channel. I, I must uh, press the dual because we have given the output to the both the channels or oh, sorry input to the both the channels of the corresponding VCO. And now, now I am going to turn on the uh, circuit okay. and let us see what is happening over here. slowly the wave has been uh, displayed on the CRO. Now, I just try to uh, change the times per division knob, so that I can see clearly the both the uh, waves on the CRO okay. and uh, uh, I must try to check where it is the yeah is a square wave. So, what it is now uh, at a certain voltage it is actually getting the, uh, the square wave and the triangular now, if I just try to if I just try to change the voltage applied across it, okay, now it is 11, 11 volt and correspondingly uh, the frequency of the oscillations for a certain uh, uh, capacitor that is a C 1, okay, C 1 capacitor I am using now C 2 is not used. Okay. So, now if I just try to um, uh, change the voltage across it, now how it is just changing? If the voltage is getting decreased frequency of the oscillation also getting uh, decrease. Okay. Now, if I just keep this voltage same okay, 10.72, I will try to measure the uh, period of oscillation of the both the waves. Okay. Now, you can see over here is the square wave, I will use the first one, okay. square wave, I will just make it at the center to measure it. How many lines are there? So, this is on time and this is off time of the square wave. So, I must use the on time plus off time so that I can uh, use as a total period of the oscillation of that uh, square. Uh, so, how much it is there? Uh, complete this is line over here and is uh, disconnecting over here. So, how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 divisions are there, 3 divisions uh, on the screen and where is the time per division now? It is over here 1 millisecond. Okay. 1 millisecond. So, the what is our first observation is something like okay, how much is the voltage applied here? 10.72 is the VC. 
Now the period of the uh, square wave is 3 into 1 millisecond. So, 3 millisecond is uh, our period of oscillation of the square wave. Now, similarly, we will try to use the period of oscillation of the triangular wave. We will try to calculate it. Uh, okay. So, again I use, I will just disappear the uh, square wave so that I can use the, my space to measure the time period of the triangular wave. Okay. So, now I make it at the center. I can move it, right. So, yeah. So, how many divisions are there from here peak to peak, right. So, this is a, suppose this is a charging time and this is discharging. Similarly, this is replica of it. So, so what is symmetric view? So, what we can have? Uh, this is discharging time plus charging time. So, that will uh, completes the, uh, what we can say is a total period of the uh, uh, wave. So, now how many divisions are here? 1, 2 and 3. So, 3 divisions uh, into the how, how, how much is multiplied here? 1 millisecond. 1 millisecond. So, 3, uh, 3 millisecond is the uh, period of the uh, triangular. So, we can note down that. Okay. Now, I, now I will just make the both the views on the screen. Now, what I am going to do? I will just try to uh, uh, use the another capacitor. Okay. The waves uh, are disappeared on the uh, CRO. I will use the another uh, capacitor with a different value. Yeah. Now, suddenly the I have not changed anything, but uh, due to the capacitance value has changed the, that is why the period of the oscillations of this all the frequency has been changed irrespective of the voltage applied across it. So, the capacitor value has changed the frequency. So, this is how we can uh, uh, try to measure the uh, uh, frequency of the uh, oscillation by just controlling the input voltage. Now, uh, I can have the many number of the values even I can go on changing the uh, input voltage correspondingly. Uh, the output voltage uh, sorry output frequency can be tuned right. So, there will be the point where the will not able to go get any kind of the uh, waves on the screen that is you can see if the voltage goes beyond uh, some its value then we will not able to uh, get the any kind of the wave. So, we must have the voltage in between the uh, 9 point something 2 or above 9 volt and below the uh, 12 volt that is uh, above the 75 percent of the uh, uh, its uh, power supply voltage and less than the 100 percent. If it is goes above the 100 percent then obviously this waves gets disappeared. So, now uh, in the calculation what we need is uh, something like this is the formula for it that is how we can calculate the uh, formula for it uh, frequency of the oscillations for the both the, whether it is triangular wave or the square wave. How much is the V c? Now, sorry V plus, V plus is around 12 volt, okay? around 12 volt is that is fixed one that we are not going this is power supply voltage okay? and then uh, V c is the control voltage what we have just uh, changed on the DMM uh, upon R 1 C 1 values which are given already over there. So, R 1 C 1 values will be provided that is R 1 value is uh, 10 kilo ohm and uh, uh, C 1 value can be uh, 0.1 microfarad or else the or else the what we can have is the 0 0.047 microfarad. Now, what what is should be your observation table? Control voltage, then uh, period of the square wave, period of the triangular wave, then the correspondingly frequency inverse of the period can uh, be the frequency and then we have to calculate uh, the um, uh, frequency by using this formula that is F 0 is equal to this formula used by using the uh, control voltage and the uh, R 1 C 1 values. So, you should have the two kind of the observations for the uh, C 1 and uh, C 2. Okay. And what is your, uh, now you must uh, try to plot the graph of the uh, uh, graph of the two variables that is uh, V C versus V C versus uh, frequency F 0. So, the graph is expected to be something like this. Okay. And what it gives us? So, the corresponding uh, control voltage can have the uh, frequency as well. So, this graph will give us the uh, representation of the frequency voltage to the frequency conversion characteristics. So, uh, what will be your result? 
your result should be the we have uh, successfully uh, studied the characteristics of the voltage control oscillator okay. so this should be the your uh, result okay. characteristics of the voltage control oscillators are verified that's it